Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting. Today we'll show you how to control your Victron inverter. Day to day, there's only two things that you'll want to adjust on your inverter. The first is turning it on or off. The second is adjusting the AC input current limit. There's five different ways that you can accomplish this, so we're going to walk you through all five. And keep in mind that all these methods would work for a MultiPlus, a MultiPlus 2, Quattro, Quattro 2, any of the VE bus inverters. The first method, and probably the best, is the Servo GX combined with the Touch 70. This is the best because you can not only control your inverter from the touch screen here, but also remotely from VRM anywhere in the world, as long as your system has Wi-Fi. So there's a couple ways to do this from the touch screen. You can simply scroll to where you see AC input current limit and adjust that. So let's say we have a 30 amp source at a campground. We'll adjust that to 30 amps. Or if we're headed to a friend's house or maybe a harvest host and they've got a 15 amp cord, you can set that to 15 amps. And you can turn the inverter on off or as you saw there, charger only and inverter only modes also flashed on the screen. We basically never use those, so I'm not gonna go into detail on them right now. The next method is the digital multi-control. This is super simple and user-friendly. You can adjust the current limit using the dial and you can turn the inverter off or to charger only mode using the toggle switch. One thing I'll recommend is if you're gonna use this, you will need to disconnect it for firmware updates or setting changes. So it can be good to use the wall mounted enclosure. This is gonna allow you a convenient place to disconnect the RJ45 cable from the digital multi-control as opposed to having to remove whatever panel you have the digital multi-control mounted in. Another method is the VE bus smart dongle. This allows users to use their cell phone Victron Connect app via Bluetooth to turn the inverter on or off or adjust the input current limit as you see here. This is my personal least favorite option because you have to use Bluetooth on your phone and there is no physical uh, on off switch located in your RV or van. The digital multi control and the VE bus smart dongle cannot be used together. You can use the touch screen alongside a digital multi control or use the touch screen alongside a VE bus smart dongle, but you then would not be able to turn the inverter on or off or adjust the input current limit from the touch screen because your other device would then control those. Therefore, the touch screen is pretty much always our favorite choice. If you never need to adjust the input current limit, imagine your RV is stationary or you're at an off-grid property with a built-in generator, it's not going anywhere, so your AC input current's always gonna be the same, you can use the remote on-off port built into all VE bus products. This multi has it right here. And we would simply disconnect the jumper and wire in a on-off switch to those two ports and locate this somewhere convenient. The last and the least exciting method is, of course, you can use the switch on the multi's face to turn the unit on or off or to charger only mode. There's also some ways you can wire switches to the different auxiliary input ports here on the bottom and have different actions like turning the unit on and off or turning it to power saving mode, but we rarely use those. So if you need help with those for something specific, give us a call. To circle back to our preferred method for controlling your inverter, the servo and touchscreen combo will also allow you to update firmware or program settings remotely through Victron's VRM portal as long as you have Wi-Fi. So again, this is the most powerful combo that does the most stuff for you. If you don't have the servo and touchscreen combo, you will need a MK3 to USB or USB-C interface which allows you to program the settings in the inverter using your laptop. The USB or USB-C end plugs into your laptop 
and then it just plugs into the inverter using uh, the RJ45 cable. If you need help controlling or programming your Victron inverter, don't hesitate to call us.